Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome. Can my voice be heard out there? I'll talk, I see someone's speaking to me out there in, uh, somewhere in the world. So everybody's okay? So I can't be heard? The phone, my phone is not messed up tonight? Okay, the water. At least somebody here. Somebody can hear. As long as, as, long as we can hear. It's all right, so this phone is brand new. It should be, it should be all right. I have a brand new phone. My phone has been brand new for a couple of weeks, three weeks. I don't know. Nobody, nobody, uh, nobody can play. That's why I ask people to, if they can hear or not, so you may, so we can recognize whatever's going on. I think it might not have to necessarily be my phone. Um, so tonight I want to go over uh, self-examination. I think it's time for us to uh, look within ourselves. You can't go over this enough, really, in essence, of um, trying to be able to uh, look at ourselves and examine ourselves rather than looking at everybody else. We always need to look at ourselves and make sure that we're in the spirit. We're rolling in the right spirit with the most high. And I haven't went over this in a while. And I think it's time, I don't know, some people maybe have never went over it. We have a lot of new spirits and the spirit of the most high. Most I was calling in new people, I want you to be able to have this to go for yourself and to review this. Very important. Very, very important that we look at this for what it is and we move in the spirit of the Most High. All that we do and say will be in the name of the Anointed Savior. Therefore, we can. Uh, you can always have this review for yourself unless you already know that you're going to make it to the kingdom. So all you that's already, you know, if you're already in the kingdom already, so you don't have to go over this. You just keep on moving in the kingdom that you're in and you'll be all right to yourself, not to the most high. Because we can all, and it's, a, it's, it's something to humble ourselves, something to keep us humble. You know, but those that don't need to be humble and they just, you just stay like you are, to remain in the congregation of the dead because that's where you at, really. You're in the congregation of the dead because we always have to do a self-examination of ourselves and striving toward making ourselves ready for the kingdom. The most I want to be more of a humble and broken and contrite spirit of those that's going to reach the kingdom and that's going to reach his throne and even come to him. When you look at the angels are trembling before him and then here we are on this earth playing around with this truth thinking that it's just, you know, something that is not. Most people don't realize what this is all about. And when he started releasing all these demons and these spirits in the last days, to see who's going to really be about it, about it, you're going to find out what this is all about. This ain't no joke. This is real serious. And he's real serious about what he's doing in these last days. Without a shadow of a doubt, I have no doubt in my mind when I look at the things that this man has done and the things that how our people are programmed a certain way from the point of 
having the laws of the Most High, and they're going against the laws of the Most High, and it's the most trying times of all right now. Believe me when I say what I say, because it is a fact. I'm going to start off with Colossians 3 and 17. This, this lesson isn't for everyone because, like, like I said, some feel that they're already there. So if you're there already, this isn't for you. It's only for those that want to be humble, those that want to be humble before the Most High. Not before man, but before the Most High. But we have to be humble before the Most High. And Amashiach got was shot to reach the kingdom. No prideful person is going into the kingdom. Nobody, if you know it all, then Amashiach got shot. You have to come back and teach you nothing. Straight up. He don't have to step on foot on this earth to teach you anything because you already know it all. So it's not for those. It's only for those that look into do a self-examination of themselves as we all need to. To humble ourselves and to make us have a broken and contrite spirit and to break down all pride, all envy and all jealousy, all any any kind of way that you are contrary to the word of the most high. And that's what this is about. No more, no less. Uh, Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, that's whatever we do in speaking, or whatever we do in our actions, in these mortal bodies, do all by Hashem of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. We're giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Hashem of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So, in doing this, the Most High is looking upon us. And seeing our actions, he knows our thoughts. We ask him to look at our actions, look at our words, look at our thoughts, look at our, everything that we do and say, and judge us. So everything that you think, everything that we say, everything that we do, the Most High is looking at it. In the name of the known and Savior. So let's look at this because this is the time that we're in now. And we got to really examine ourselves to a self-examination of ourselves more and more and more and don't let anybody take you off your path because people are set up some people are set up just for distractions and that's a lot of because why I say all Israel not of Israel that's why Matthew 24 and 12 it says Matthew 24 and 12 and because iniquity which is wickedness or sins shall abound and it's going to be plentiful. The love of many shall wax cold. So the love of many going to wax cold. Toward who? Our people. Because mainly most of us are dealing with our people. Your world is mainly dealing with our people. Anybody dealing with an a Edomite world? Your world is an Edomite world? You can talk about Edomite you want to, but mainly your world is dealing with our people. The children of Israel. Con? So the iniquity is amongst us because the Most High gave the laws, statute of commandments to Israel, not to these other nations. If you follow in them, you eat them eyes. Like I said, I wish I looked that up, it says demonize. So I'm not talking to you. You got to repent and come back to what it is that you're going to hear. You're part of it. You're part of the iniquity that's going to go down on this earth in these last days that Amashiach Kavashiach talked about. Because this chapter talks about the last days, in the last days. I'm going to read to you again. It said, and because iniquity shall abound, it's going to be plentiful. The love of many shall wax cold. Cold, cold-blooded. Like we say, you cold-blooded. Don't really care about nobody but yourself. That's what he said. The love of many gonna wax cold. They're not gonna really care about anything except for how it applies to themselves and not looking out for others. When he told us in Philippians, the second chapter, Philippians 2. These are orders. These are something that you can think about. It's, you want to make it to the kingdom? You want to make it through the times it's going to be on this earth? He's telling you. Wickedness is going to be so prevalent in this earth. The love of many shall wax cold. 
He won't be so cold-blooded. There'll be no caring for each other. That's why he told us in Philippians, the second chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, let not, said, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. Strife is causing confusion. You know, arguing with each other, going back and forth with each other. Or people want to be somebody in hell. This is a condition called hell that we in. But you look at people want to raise themselves up to be someone in this hell that we the most have put us in captivity, slavery, and bondage. And he had the enemies to have favor on those in captivity, slavery, and bondage and raise them up during the time that they were in captivity. But Israel tried to be somebody amongst the people, just like the Pharisees and the scribes and the Sadducees and the chief high priests that were against the Mashiach that was shot because they didn't want to be amongst the true Israelites that were called the Essenes. That was following the things that we we're talking about here. That's why it's coming out. And that's why it's here it's written in the Bible of how they were acting, how you're supposed to act. So you have those that are of these other Israelites, spirits that are here today. Because nothing new under the sun. They're still here. The spirit, you gotta look, that's why you gotta do a self-examination of who you are. Do you have a Pharisee spirit? Do you have a scribe spirit? Do you have the chief high priest spirit? Do you have uh, the Essene spirit, which is the right spirit? Um, Hamashiach, Yavashai, the prophets and the apostles were rolling in. That's what you're reading about here. That's what we're looking at. You want to be a Mashiach in which we are? supposed to be in 1 Corinthians 3.23 certain things that you have heard when you look at others you know it should be brought out this is the spirit to change you so you can become this new creature a lot of times you're looking at information 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 you got all this information I ask anybody have you listening have you studied three four hours no how are you gonna be listening to me three four hours and never go over with everything that's been said And I pray all the time that the Most High would send His Holy Spirit to enlighten us, all of us, to this. But we have to study to show ourselves approved to the Most High. But if you want something, that's that's vain glory. You know, you know a little bit of something, then you're going to go out there and drop it on somebody. No, this is vast information, brothers and sisters. Vast information beyond, nothing more powerful than this truth. That's why you want to, you won't want this vainglory. That's why I said, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind. That's humility. Lowliness of mind. You ain't trying to be somebody. You just want to be someone to be able to help someone else to understand how they got to come out of the darkness, out of this ignorance. It is sad when you look at, you pour out your all in all to someone to bring them out of ignorance and they still want to remain the congregation of the dead. They still want to remain in darkness. You can't pull them out of this darkness. All we can do is just be messengers and pray at the most. That's why you hear me praying hard for our people to come out of darkness and ignorance and to love each other. Don't can't even, We can't even love each other. We can't even get along. You got certain people that you pick out that you like. You're supposed to love everybody. What if I was like that? I say, oh no, y'all on the online, I don't like you. Okay, well, I ain't, I ain't I, psh, you just call me. The only one you can call me is one, one, two people. What if that's where the teachers were? Behind the way you look at how people have been, or you could be a certain way that everybody just cancel you out. When you go over there to try and learn, oh no, I heard about you, bam, I ain't dealing with you. And the most I shut your mind down. He has shut people's minds down, brothers and sisters. Where they can't even think about this truth. They have no, no, no conscious mind of the truth anymore. That's why I said, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. That means lifting someone else. How are you going to lift somebody else up if you just think about yourself? And a lot of times, you know, you be lifting people up, 
steaming others better than themselves when you try and show them the right way. Sometimes you show people the right way, they think you're getting on their case. They can't handle it. Oh, you bragging on me. Oh, you getting on my... You want to just love. I would say because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold because you got iniquity in you. Why you can't understand why you being made to be... You being showed how to be made better. That's esteeming others better than themselves. Appreciating each other. Appreciating the fact that you have a spiritual family outside of the knuckleheads and the crazy people that you deal with out in the world and a lot of people be able to call themselves in the truth and you treat other people that's in the world you know is wicked as hell better than you do your own brothers and sisters that's in the truth. Don't get along. Looking for something wrong. Well, I got to find something wrong on them. Dissecting. 